What is up guys, Joe for Writes here once again, and today I got another edition of the Writer's Thoughts. This one might be a little bit shorter, not a, a lot going on that I haven't covered recently, but I just want to jump into it. As always, these air live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Joe for Writes, and if you miss those, they can be found as replays on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Joe for Writes. Thank you as always for tuning in, and I'm going to jump into it. The very first thing that I saw that a lot of people were talking about is the Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct that recently happened. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the series. Not saying that I don't enjoy it, just that I haven't really played it a whole lot. That being said, the community is extremely excited. They've been waiting for a new Animal Crossing announcement for a long, long time. And so some of the things that they've been showing off in the Direct and as they get ready for release has got the fan base very excited. It's actually a game I, I believe I'm going to try with my wife because I think it's something we can both play and both kind of work on together. That will be very interesting and she'll really enjoy. So it's definitely something that I want to check out and try out as we're going forward, but good for Nintendo on delivering these things for the Animal Crossing fans. There are some people that kind of were upset that they did a whole focus on just Animal Crossing, but Judging from the fan base, this is a pretty big release to them, and I'm not surprised that they're going to be throwing their weight behind this game at all. Uh, next up, we had something that, that was very interesting to me that I wanted to talk more about. Now, we, we've seen a lot of the big-name streamers get deals with other platforms. We've got Mixer, Facebook, YouTube, going from Twitch. Now, recently, we actually had... Caffeine getting in the mix with signing some hip-hop artists such as Drake. And now they're actually going to be trying to pay affiliates to come stream part-time on their, their own platform. So what's basically happening is Caffeine is willing, as long as you average over 10 viewers, Caffeine is willing to give you a certain amount of money in order to stream on their platform. Now, this is interesting because it's the first time that we, I've really seen a company go after the smaller to mid-tier streamers. The problem is, one, they won't be able to offer enough, it looks like, to entice really partners over. Because partners, especially on Twitch or Mixer, are exclusive. So that's not going to happen, I don't believe, anytime soon. Whereas affiliates, those people, it makes sense to try it out. Potentially, but also understanding that there's a reason that caffeine is throwing money at these people. They're trying to build up and capture all these additional streamers, but that doesn't mean necessarily mean these audiences are going to move over or that you're going to have people jumping from platform to platform. The problem is caffeine is way behind the other platforms as far as streaming. And I, I just don't, I don't see it being a big deal. I don't see it happening in a way that uh, catches caffeine up. And I think a lot of affiliates are going to get frustrated because they'll go over, they'll stream part time on caffeine, and if anything, it might hurt them on their other platform where they're trying to build a, a base. So I just don't see it as a thing that's going to happen and be super successful potentially. And that's just my opinion. Then we had uh, some news that I've been very interested in. I've been watching the gaming slash sports crossover quite a bit. There's been a lot of athletes that have started gaming and streaming. You had Wombo Sports, which has done a lot of... They've recruited a lot of athletes to start streaming on their platform or under their banner, basically. Recently, I've started to pay attention to Bolts Gaming, which is the, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They've been in partnership with Rare Drop, which is kind of headed by Gathalian, Professor Broman, uh, Darkness, and uh, Kevin Vision. And yeah, so watching them kind of do all these events as like in the Tampa Bay Lightning ar Arena, all, they went over to Full Sail, which is a esports thing in Orlando, and watching them all kind of set these programs up and begin to make moves 
has been very interesting to watch because I think there's a lot of opportunity to cross over the fan bases there. And we've only started to see them touch the tip of the iceberg with that. So it's very interesting. And I'm very excited to see what they do going forward. Uh, if other organizations, if other pro teams get behind these kind of events. I know Orlando City FC is getting behind them, the soccer team. So it's all very interesting. I think it's potential for huge moves. And I can't wait to see where they go from there. And one of the last things I have is... Uh, there's an old game, Gothic, that I thought was really cool and very interesting. And they're actually making a remake that's going to be coming for the PS5, which I'm super uh, psyched about. I can't wait to see how that turns out. It was not something that was on my radar at all, or at all as far as the... Uh, as, as a remake, it's not something that I was... I saw it being redone ever, but the fact that they're doing it and it's going to be on the PS5 is going to be pretty wild and I'm kind of excited about it. So can't wait to see what comes of that, what we, what other remakes, what other remasters come to the next generation of console, because we've seen that happen a lot. A lot of these games getting redone because they're just super successful and they have these built-in fan bases so it makes sense for them to try to redo it we've seen it with the final fantasy 7 remake which is coming out soon and it looks amazing so anyway let me know what you think of all my thoughts for today thank you as always for stopping by and hanging out and i will catch you guys later thanks as always for stopping by the channel make sure to like and subscribe for future content and i will catch you guys later